we got beat by a veteran team um, that wanted it more than, than we did tonight. You know, um, indicative of 14 offensive rebounds. They just had more fight. Um, you know, Frankie's a great point guard. You know, he, he did a great job running their team. And, um, you know, we're young. They're, they're an experienced team, and, and it looked like it tonight. I just saw that. I just saw them want it more, want it more. I saw, you know, a hunger in them to to go to go get them. That's what I saw. Toughness. They made ten threes in each other's tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, what did you see from them that you thought maybe they could have done better? Well, um, when I talk about Frankie. I, I give him a lot of credit because he came off ball screens and when our opposite wing defender sucked in to, to, to cover the role, he found the opposite the opposite uh, corner guy and, and, and delivered the pass to perfection a couple of times. And, and then, you know, once the game kind of got out of hand and we were doing more scrambling to try to speed them up, um, they were doing a great job on kickouts out of the post. And, um, you know, just making us long closeouts to swings. And, um, you know, once it kind of got out of hand, it, it, it you know, they, they made plays. I mean, we, we, we tried to speed them up, and, and we had to scramble a little bit more. And uh, they found the open guy. Andre, Coach mentioned uh, their experience level. What can you kind of take out of a game like that playing against an opponent with, with that kind of experience? Um, just seeing how they play together. Um, and seeing how they move the ball, and they always seem to be on the same page. Um, and we're trying to get to that same level. And um, so just that's what I can take away from this game. Andre, well, well, your team obviously did not perform well. You had a solid line with 17 and 9. What were you seeing out there that allowed you to kind of put up those numbers and get into relief early and kind of stay consistent? Um, well, my teammates, we've been, we've been really stressing um, ball movement and um, creating for others. And our teammates did a good job of um, like getting in the lanes and finding me on some, uh, some easy layups, things like that. So they were able to create shots for me. So they did a good job putting me in good positions where I could score the ball easily. Um, so that was, that was good. We're just um, trying to do uh, what we need for us to get a win. I'm um, really just concerned about winning right now. So that's basically it. Well, it, it started with us not being able to score. You know, it just kind of, when you don't see the ball go through the rim, there's just the urgency to get a stop builds. And you kind of, you know, our guys start to panic a little bit. And um, that's when you see silly fouls. That's when you see um, guys not box out, not being focused. Um, you know, but it starts with we could we couldn't we had we had some good looks that we would normally knock down and we didn't knock down, and I think it just compounded, you know, that on the defensive end where it just became more, you know, guys were more anxious to get a stop and and, and, and you can kind of see the desperation played against us. Like when you have a young team like this and things are not going well, mm -hmm. what can you what are you looking for or what can you give them to keep them confident? Well, when when. When teams go on runs, I, I just have to talk to them. And you know, I told them, I said, this is when we all start to try to play hero ball. And that's the absolute last thing that we need to do at this point. We need to work even harder together to just try to cut it, you know, to try to get a couple stops and get some baskets and, 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 and make our own run. And um, you know, just reminding them not to fall into the temptation of trying to do it for themselves, trying to do it on their own. Um, and so tonight, you know, I felt like they tried to continue to play together. Um, you didn't see, a, a, you know, a ton of, you know, forced shots, uh, but we just couldn't. We couldn't find a rhythm offensively. Anything else? You mentioned on the, the conference call earlier that maybe the center of the game was a little bit of a step back. Did you see some, some strides tonight that you guys were getting closer to where you played at in the, the St. John game? 
No, it, it's tough when you when you give up that many offensive rebounds to feel like you made any steps in the, in the, in the right direction when you turn the ball over to a team that's not pressing that many times. So um, we have to watch the film, uh, and we have to we have to come out and and and, and compete more. 